Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, stellar light bridgers of the Holy Grail Divine Union. All star seed earth angelics of the 144 continue to experience intense activations and initiations as we make our way into and through the coming 111 portal and new moon in Capricorn this Thursday the 11th. We had more spikes of white light on the Schumann charts again today with a big blast of light at an amplitude of 36 hertz. Pachamama also received another powerful activation again today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake in Niigata, Japan at 8.59 UTC. As our solar logos projects more waves of gamma plasma into Gaia and all her children of the sun, all is accelerating into our full culmination zero point of infinite light to make our quantum leap as supernova consciousness of the Cristo Sophia. In our self-realization, we come to know our true nature of Buddha mind, which is our original awakened state of pure awareness. We resolve all things and live directly from our sacred heart centers as conscious co-creators of our new heaven upon the new earth. Our higher self harmonizes with you now to assist you all in stepping over the threshold of God's kingdom on earth and into the new golden age of enlightenment for all sentient beings of the way. The doors of freedom have been flung wide open, access granted to all with a kind heart. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. 222 flowing in. And be sure to sign up for our weekly New Earth Ascension Report and Astrology Reading on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Starting at $5 a month, you have access to our weekly reading, our guided meditations, healing transmissions, and other spiritual teachings. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Convergence running parallels, dropping in for choice points pre-111. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Pars Kute. The only reliable disciplinarian and guide for the ego self is the true self, or omniscient soul. Wisdom never lies. Soul wisdom is revealed to man through the agency of intuition, direct perception of truth, not by amassing knowledge through the intellect. The seeker after wisdom should understand the difference between intuition and man's limited faculty of intelligence. Within divine love of one, pars kute. And today from divine sister of the light, Laura Hazel. A word from the whales, 9th of January, 2024. Sweeping winds carry harmonic waters over energetically parched lands within full planetary alignment. Vortexes support the multidimensional penetration of cosmic consciousness as harmonic hearts weave songs of remembrance through all levels of existence. Fragmented spheres of consciousness continue to regain coherence on the universal level. Greater coherence is reflected in all forms. With great love from the Cetacean Collective, from DolphinResonance.org. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Catherine Ray. To be born and be free. Cutting the energetic umbilical cord, attachment. Each trinitized entity, sphere form, is separating from the egregor, placenta, in which development took place. Energy channels open through heart resonance. Now we are individual solar essences. 
globality whole one eleven 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 birth birth codes today the birth of the trinitized solar i am the birth of a new potential finally i can breathe ten 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 eleven eleven o two christ consciousness monad i am presence and from divine sister of the light aura four 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 the blue ray is cranking up justice, truth, and freedom of expression from illusions and deceptions. Powerful. Keep anchored in your light as this allows you to be stable in the highest timeline. Power outages all around me today, and I maintain mine with my frequency and power of intention. You have the same ability, and your frequency will give to which reality you are experiencing. The shift between 3D to 5D just got wider, expanding the consciousness of those who are aligning to the light within them, freeing themselves from distortions and illusions, bringing freedom codes of light, rising in truth of who you are, helps a humanitarian aid of light. We came to help, and your frequency is the key. And from Divine Sister Star of the Light, Maureen Moss, Although this year ahead will be tumultuous in the world external and at times within ourselves, either way to our favor, each will assist us in catalyzing the truth of our holy being. There is a precise way that the energy of creation living on earth is being returned to its natural state. I am reminded constantly, no matter what you do or what occurs, stay in love and remain open-hearted. Both create a receptor field for your higher self, soul, I am presence, to enter more fully and expand within you. More swiftly now we are gathering and holifying all of our pure divine aspects to present to the world, unabashed and unmitigated, a shining jewel of multidimensional divine awareness and presence. The return to the pattern of wholeness is an implosion letting each know that something very ancient has died while something very new and magical in its perfection is birthing. It's important that we connect deeply to the magical process rather than focusing on the pain of the process. Piece by piece, that which is not of your true nature falls away, revealing the precious jewel that you are. Contemplate the truth of you. From MaureenMoss.com And today from Divine Broth or of the Light, Gabriel de Pleiade. Doors are open to all. The doors are open to all and access is up to everyone as these frequencies from the fifth dimension push humanity to open up to transformation. The fifth dimension is a plane of full abundance, joy, freedom, and where beings share and coexist without skills or struggles. Each experience and process we experience represents information that is collectively moving, and many others on the planet are also sensing and going through comparable experiences to ours. That is why when a person overcomes their experiences, they transcend them and take a leap of consciousness beyond their wounds and fears. This information passes through the planetary grids and can be welcomed by others, also pushing towards their awakening. As a collective, humanity is part of the earth as a fabric and Mother Gaia is able to feel us. Because for her, humans are a part of the ecosystems. They are cells in her body. Gaia feels human pain and makes it vibrate like its own. In the same way we feel pain in our whole being when we strike some part of our body. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Kirsty Elizabeth. The greatest gift of the sensitive is their intuition. The high-reaching, deep core connecting energies of the 1-1 one -one through the 11-1 portal this year plays perfectly to those who can reach subtle depths to gain invisible knowledge of their environment and their resonance within it. The sixth sense of perception of that which is invisible to the five physical senses is pronounced and highly advanced within the makeup of a sensitive being, turning silence into whispers and stillness into flutters is the ageless ability of the intuitive, 
felt through the heart, body, soul, and mind as a real and natural part of living existence. Those who act as a medium between the spiritual and physical cherish the wisdom that they hear from a distant source as a timeless song of truths, hidden from sight, sound, and touch, with so many newly aligned sensitives ready to listen to a new calling, expect to be delivered a symphony of harmonic vibrations whereby a new song will be manifested into the physical realm through a process of the deepest contemplation. Listen for the music of the six senses, whether this be new to you or old, knowing that now more than ever is the time of belief in the unheard, the unseen, and the unknown. Kirsty Elizabeth 144 Coming In From Divine Sister of the Light, Akashra Azurite Cosmic New Worlds, Realities, Universes, Mother Gaia Earth Galactic Ship Energy Update, 1-1-1-4-4-4-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-
So magical to see the fireballs activate our experience. Definitely clearing millions of timelines here. Quantum Light Activation Source Translation Writing by Akasha Ra Azurite and Galactic Commander Husband. Cosmic Love Councils, Galactic Beings, Galactic Star Races, Emerald Order Feline Races, God Realms Downloads. From Starseed Evolution United .net. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, as we continue stepping into a new frequency band, many of us are transcending our lower chakras with the assistance of our guides, teams, the auroras, and many other forces who are helping our planetary ascension as well as those who are willing to do the inner work required to achieve self-mastery. In this process of conscious transfiguration of our lower egoic layers and chakras, we are finally leaving behind our most basic human three-dimensional self, embodying our fifth dimensional one, moving further into the soul and monadic levels. It is at this time when guides shared the importance of aligning to the Capricornian essences that now reign our planet. As they are assisting us in the process of self-illumination required for us to continue stepping into the illumined worlds. We are finally transmuting our lower chakras from the many wounds, programs, female repression, familiar or inherited patterns, trauma, disempowerment, and many other distortions that have been encrusted within them and that need to be released. For those who are now ready or undergoing this process, guide share you will be moving into a phase of stellar activation, which means you are literally becoming another person as your body particles accelerates, embodying more light and hence love. Drink plenty of water, it is a natural conductor of energy. Sound in any way you are guided to use it, as another tool to help you in this activation. For we come from sound, as it is the first origin from God's source. Weekly clearings are important too, but above all, your attitude towards yourself and how you cope with your personal process. During this process, remember to have compassion for yourself and above all for who you have been, for you may experience guilt or blame as you witness your past self, which are also programs destined to disempower us. You may have found unconscious acts that you would not repeat now. You hold now more consciousness, love, and compassion for yourself and all. Show it by loving who you were too, for you had a different level of consciousness when you made those acts. Choose to cancel and neutralize your past acts by becoming aware of them and taking responsibility, forgiving yourself and moving forward, by seeding something more loving, peaceful, and that will help heal all. For this seed will grow and expand in your present, but also in your past and future selves, healing what was damaged. Amend your past wrongs by being and sharing more love, not by beating yourself up with guilt, for this will only create and expand more hate and disempowerment. See the truth, the love, the power, and the peace within you, and send it to all who are ready to embrace it. We are on a path to self-liberation where self-love, forgiveness, and compassion are key to letting go, embracing more unconditional love, and moving forward to our new harmonic destination. At every moment you are presented with the choice to let go of who you were and embrace the new you. You have the will and the power. Choose wisely. Within Infinite Love from NataliaAlba.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 1924. What you did last year, you don't have to do again. What you gained is yours to keep. What you learned about yourself is yours to use. You may feel unsure about your next steps, but you are better prepared and stronger than you were. Today's right action is to celebrate who you are right now and what you've been through to get here. This is your last look back and your chance to see that you really are the alchemist who can turn mundane into magical, bitter into sweetness, truth into peace. You have what you need. Tomorrow you start opening up to what you want. 
And from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascending Lightworker Collective, the 3D, 4D, 5D assimilation process on the planet is now in progress, what you should expect to take place in the immediate future. The process of transformation is being accelerated at a tremendous pace in order for you and other ascending souls, light workers to be able to handle the incoming energies and to continue to clear your bodily vehicles of residual negative energy. The reason for this is that any and all residual imbalances will create discomfort for the inner self and it may create obstacles from accomplishing a complete transformation and transmutation. Some who are consciously ascending are experiencing three dimensions at one time. Your physical being is operating in the world of the third dimension. Your emotional and mental bodies are trying to adjust to the fourth dimensional experiences and your consciousness, higher self, is reaching for the fifth dimension. The molecular structure of your brain is redefining itself and certain areas of your brain are also being activated. Areas in your physical brain that have been in dormancy for thousands of years as well as some critical areas that have not been active for millions of years. There is a reason for your discomfort and your distress. It is not physical in the sense you think of as physical. In other words, you are not ill or sick. There is no outside influence involved in this process. It is internal only. It is cosmic and it is spiritual. Give yourself permission to rest when you are feeling this discomfort. When you feel an overwhelming urge to rest or to sleep, then this is what you are meant to do. It is always best not to resist what your body knows it needs. Listen carefully to the urging and feelings of your physical vehicle, for it will speed up the process and make it easier and more comfortable for you now. Eat lightly, drink pure fluids, and drink filtered water. Fresh fruit juices and vegetables, as this will help ease your discomfort. Spending time in nature is key. We need to know and understand that our bodies will no longer be able to assimilate heavy and spicy rich foods. Your internal and digestive system is being transformed and refining itself to the point these foods can immediately result in a reaction of one sort or another. Some of you are already experiencing this and are wisely tuning into the messages you are receiving. The transformational process we and others are experiencing would normally happen over a period of several hundred years. You can see or imagine the shock and disorientation your physical vehicle is experiencing. Some of you may feel distressed about the increase of body weight or loss. Do not be, as this has to be necessary for those of you who will be making this monumental leap and ascension moving forward, which will at times put a strain on your physical system. Your soul self is striving to bring all your bodily vehicles into balance and harmony and as quickly as possible. Just as you have felt mental distress and confusion during your transitional period, now it is time for your physical body to follow. Your auric field is being cleared and you are bringing your mental, emotional and higher bodies into alignment. And just in time for the biggest global shift in humanity on the planet this far in its conscious awakening evolutionary cycle. The next ascension phase is being put in place now as the planetary energies are being increased interdimensionally. You are spiraling to the next higher level of the evolutionary ladder. This is part of the quantum mechanics of this Earth's orbit. It is being lifted, resulting in the electromagnetic cosmic energy bombardment that has increased tremendously. The Earth will absorb more and more of this higher frequency energy, as will all consciously ascending humans, including the animals, plants, and vegetation life. Not everyone on the planet will be equipped to handle this ascension planetary energy. This could come out in ways of more dysfunction in others and in the 3D world. There will be an increase of collective dysfunction, chaos, collective depression and depletion, the confusion of staying in a constant state of brain fog, and repeated cycles and loops. 
For those choosing to remain in 3D and below structures, they may find themselves struggling more so in these much higher planetary and vibrational energies. This is just another of the many reasons why we are here awakening in this place and at this time of planet Earth's collective evolution. Ascension symptoms are not just physical. They are the physical bodies and minds' responses to adapting to higher influx of planetary energy. This adjustment into new self is necessary to continue creating through our physical vessels and to experience the process of individual and collective ascension, leading to the creation of a new earth reality. At times on your path it may appear that you are the only one not experiencing positivity and good health. However, it's important to understand that everyone is on their own unique journey. Comparing ourselves to others on the ascension path is fruitless because each individual progresses at their own pace and in their own levels of conscious awareness. The gap can be significantly different. When reading ascension information, it's wise to take what resonates and not force things to fit if they don't vibrationally align with your current experiences. If you are not currently experiencing positivity, it doesn't mean it will not be part of your future timelines. It means for now there are some internal aspects that need to be consciously worked through to reach those future timeline opportunities. Everything you are going through now plays a significant role in shaping your new earth reality. Comparing ourselves only adds unnecessary pressure and could reinforce feelings of helplessness. Not all information will apply to us at a given time, and engaging in comparisons will lead to victimizing the self. The internal ego may resist hearing this at times. It's important to recognize that we are always exactly where we are meant to be in any moment. We are constantly working through complex layers and levels of internal growth and releasing false programming and conditioning, which requires the time needed. Ascension is an ongoing process, and while there may be challenging days, there are also much better days ahead on this journey. Ascending loved ones, try not to be too overly concerned with your ascension symptoms. Whatever they may be, as you ascend, this soon will pass, and you will be in absolute awe by what will take its place. A new awareness, a new vision new spiritual gifts and abilities, integration of new and higher knowledge, and eventually a new human body. Welcome ascension in and look forward to this new world reality because it was made for you. Channeled in loving and dedicated ascension service by Ascension Lightworkers. From Divine Sister of the Light Chalea, Channel and Mystic. Event Update 1924 The new phase has begun. The Earth is celebrating the Galactic Federation. The Ascension Event Update for January 9th, 2024. Greetings, dear family of light. In these precious moments, you are in the midst of settling into the new phase of your Ascension. This new phase gives you and the Earth more control of your own destiny, stopping all interference being done by those who wish to control and keep you enslaved. You and the earth have a much more enhanced ability to now manifest your reality. Within this phase of your ascension, you are now processing your reality in a much different perspective, allowing for the new earth to actually begin to physically manifest. The divine's order was to jump the earth into a new timeline that gives you and the earth the advantage above the dark ones which is also causing an awakening of more and more humans every day to the truth of the ascension. This jump has excited the earth, and now she is reacting in joy. For the first few days after the jump, everything has been very calm and still. Even your logos became very quiet, only expressing 14 small C-class flares within the last 72 hours especially since after the massive X5.01 received on the first day of your new year. However, the earth herself has been busy and is not waiting around for everything to settle. The Schumann resonance graph has been blacked out for most of this last week, hiding any activity that could have been taking place. 
However, since it came back online, it has shown massive activity and reached a 64 Hz spike yesterday. As described in the previous update, the Earth's original frequency of the third dimension was at 7.83 Hz constantly. This frequency has been known by many of your mystics, shamans, and monks who chant Om at this vibration. This was the Earth's basic hum, or heartbeat, during her slumber through the lower dimension. However, your Mother Earth has awakened. She is a sentient being and she has chosen to ascend permanently out of the lower cycles of vibration. Her base vibration now ranges between 10 and 20 hertz and continues to rise. We wish to also remind everyone about the different levels of vibration in the spectrum of existence. From 3 to 10 hertz is about third degree vibration. The fourth degree vibration is about 15 and 30 hertz, 5th degree vibrational spectrum is about 40 hertz, and 6th degree begins around 60 hertz in your vibrational understanding. Upon entering the new timeline, the earth began celebrating. On January 7th, there was two deep swings shown in the frequency graph. The first was between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. UTC, involved only the primary frequency and produced a peak of quality. The second lunge, starting shortly after midnight on January 8th, was across all frequencies that led to a strong movement in amplitude, that then peaked at a massive power of 64 Hz at 4.40 a.m. UTC, early morning January 8th. Between 6 and 10 a.m. UTC on January 8th, there was a slight decrease in amplitude movements, which then returned to significant values and remained around power of 25 for approximately 3 to 4 hours. At 3 p.m. UTC, there was a new rapid sinking of the frequencies, which led to a new strong movement that reached the power of 40 hertz. At the time of this update, the frequencies continue to all still be erratic, dancing around. The activity that began yesterday morning at 3 a.m. UTC continues throughout today. An upward trend is underway at the time of this update. The highest value reached today was the power of 36 Hz at 440 UTC during today's most intense movement between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. UTC. At the moment of this update, the Earth's Schumann resonance was at high power 36 Hz for the day. This movement is also being pushed towards her surface, with 39 earthquakes above level 2 magnitude in the last 24 of your Earth hours, including a 5.4 magnitude in Chile, South America at 4.5 and a 5.9 magnitude in Sado, Japan, and a massive 6.7 magnitude in the Philippines. Currently in your vibrational perspective, the earth is celebrating, she is happy, laughing and enjoy. In your planet's perspective, she is your mother, and her children are also now fully waking up. The physical body of the earth is of ancient origins, and so is her soul. She has had many beings walk upon her and see only dirt and stone, and whatever resources she may offer. Nevertheless, most of your native cultures from all over your planet have remembered her. Your Mother Earth is sacred and have respected her as a living being, but those who have lost that respect and have forgotten will soon remember. In these precious moments she is vibrating very high in the higher love frequencies. She loves you and is pushing her children to take their first steps into the love and light of our infinite Creator. We love you and honor you. We are the Galactic Federation. This has been the Ascension Event Update for January 9th, 2024, from UniversalLighthouse.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Power of the Light Ray 2024, for the light frequencies of 2024 is providing synergistic light cues of the greater alignment to Gaia's mission. See the great cellular alignment of now to the sun rays the quantum evolution of light, 
i am shown myself basking in the sun rays and the crystalline workings of the rays in my light field it is a moment of great realization as i come to understand the crystalline synergy of the light ray for the light ray is a sacred signature of light aligned to the crystalline light of each soul a platform of light to elevate and expand your inner knowing and cosmic connection to all things a quantum of light healing and crystalline signals of light in my physical form i am shown the power of the light ray in ancient forms whether it is a pyramid or an ancient geological formation of crystalline light as the quantum light of now is arising our species will be gifted new insights about the complexity of the light ray a dynamic force of light interplaying with all beings for the light ray is a powerhouse of encoded information i am shown new quantum information released for no two light rays are the same the ancients were aware of this knowledge it provided great advantages we are now receiving this information as our dna awakens and activates in light may you play and explore the light rays of now the great light frontier has arrived with love way showers together in light the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code you are no longer carrying the burdens of the intense shadow work for the collective the pain you have endured that kept you limited and trapped is behind you solar flare clearings have taken place providing the freedom to make changes surrender it all to free your soul for the season of major expansion you are safe to step fully into your light and fly take a chance and trust in the major awakening of christ consciousness that is showing you the way to your destiny in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and today from divine sister of the light ra james today our capricorn sun harmonizes with uranus retrograde and taurus expect huge shifts to be happening in your life right now you're going through a huge transition uranus is known for bringing breakdowns breakups and breakthroughs this is getting clarity downloads and realization energies tonight we have our crescent moon merging together with venus mercury and mars venus will glow brightly at the top of this alignment this is a great alignment and it's very much all about love the moon merges together with the planets of love sex and communication there is a huge focus on your love life the rest of the capricorn season expect today's energies to amplify whatever is going on for you in your love life you're being guided to heal your heart chakra of past hurts and to heal your love life capricorn season is a reminder that relationships take work the 111 portal is bringing some major storm energy with it these energies are all about clearing energies and manifesting the capricorn new moon on the 11th is the time to put your manifestations out there this moon combined with the 111 portal is bringing some major magic you have been probably feeling the higher energies that we have been integrating into the past few weeks make sure you are really taking care of yourself and doing what you need to to feel good from now until the 20th it's all about sorting your life this should be a time that's all about taking care of your responsibilities and getting things back on track from sparks of divine light healing dot com and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma on tuesday january ninth the sun ruler of our self-identity and focused capricorn the goat is in a positive trine connection to uranus ruler of the god mind and grounded taurus the bull we can work towards our practical goals and ambitions today with a little help and sprinkle of inspiration from the universe the sun in capricorn wants to shine its light and express itself through career and life purpose the support from uranus can bring positive change creativity and breakthroughs expect the unexpected in a good way but also take action on your future aspirations as we need to take steps forward to receive the full benefits from this connection 
let your imagination and vision expand out into the far reaches of what is possible and then ground your efforts and manifest your dreams right here on the earth plane blessings of love and light to all from sacred soul empowerment dot com and today from divine sis star of the light leah whitehorse mercury and sagittarius square neptune in pisces sun and capricorn semi-square saturn and pisces what is happening the mind flails tries to come up with an answer thoughts spin like a helicopter rotor blade round and round and yet somewhere deep within a quiet voice calls this way this is what you wanted to know maybe we don't believe the story or trust the inner voice wondering if there's still more to come is it a fact or fiction but this is the final connection between mercury and neptune in this series so maybe it's time to finally listen to the soul that knows the challenge is that we want specifics right now clearly defined edges certainty but life isn't always like that four 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 coming in sometimes all you can do is trust that vague nudge from within relax and let the tide carry you to where you need to be the more we resist the harder it is to find the security or certainty we're looking for let down your guard 144 coming in but not so far that you feel exposed relax your mind but not so much that you forget your boundaries look beyond illusions to find your truth from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the zolt keen times keen 81 red electric dragon electric is the name for the number three and its key words are activate service and bond the third day of a wave spell activates the energy and really gives things a boost these days are great for getting things done but are seldom relaxing use this electric energy to your advantage or beware of getting a shock today is red dragon and its key words are nurture being and birth some combinations of day and number are special and today provides a great match of energies the red dragon is about birth dragons live in a cave and caves are the womb of mother earth and so to activate birth means that today is perfect for giving birth to something new and as we are now in the blue storm wave spell and that brings big changes this adds up to a spectacular opportunities whether you wish to launch a new business project or start a new life or actually give birth to a baby do it now the timing is right and today from divine sis star of the light christina papa giorgio red electric dragon three emish keen eighty one ninth of january twenty twenty four activating nurturance birthing new life nine one twenty twenty four equal nine one eight equal nine nine equal eighteen equal nine 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 divine destiny portal day codes nine destiny service humanity completion compassion closure eighteen social upheaval endings month year codes one new beginnings original leader independent unique eight infinite abundance source flow nine twenty the awakening clear vision twenty four charisma happiness healing joy keen eighty one equal nine destiny service humanity compassion closure nine 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 divine completion boom magic happens out of the void comes new creation a beautiful transformative day ending old cycles and emphasizing service through nurturing others and birthing our new creations day three in the blue storm wave spell of purification cleansing transformation and evolution today we are activating transformation through the power of nurturance in divine service to humanity we catalyze tremendous life force to channel into the birth of our new creations spiritual alchemy at its peak tone of creation electric is tone number three in the tone of creation it is the first of the three emotional realm tones its focus is on being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation 
It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. The electric tone of service to humanity is a very potent energy to catapult your divine mission. Today you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to birth the new, uplifting and energizing others through your creations. A very potent day for closing the old cycle. 9999 code is final. The old chapter is closed now. A new door opens, a new chapter, and new beginnings, initiating change as we approach the new moon and Capricorn in two days' time. We have a double whammy duo with the electric dragon and electric serpent, joining forces to give our planetary grid system a huge electrical jump start, extra rocket power to boost our energy, vitality, passion, and divine mission. Today's questions are, how can I express greater nurturance and care for my community through bonding with others and divine service to humanity? What is it that wants to birth through me today? Divine blessings for birthing the most brilliant creations today. In la ketch a la keen, the Mayan saying which translates to, I am another of you. From Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 81, Red Electric Dragon. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to nurture. Bonding being, I seal the input of birth. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of life force. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work so if you'd like to help support our work our mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world you can make a monthly pledge to our patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com now I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light, H.F. Land, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Buruyana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with the powerful code and divine decree from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sandra Walter. How to use decrees. Connect with your heart, hands on your chest, honor the pure source love light intelligence within your heart center. Take a conscious breath. Divine presence is a strong palpable frequency. State the decree out loud. Your voice contains your light signature, which influences your body, mind, DNA, emotions, heart, and realities. 
say the decree three times to direct the flow of sound light creation witness any expansion or activation in your heart and energy fields and with gratitude thank you so it is and for the divine decree divine emissaries of the pure and true organic ascension escort me through the sacred gateways of the higher realms i absorb amplify and radiate the emanations of these crystalline gateways activate the divine frequencies of resurrection and ascension in every particle of my beingness from ascensionpath.com thank you for joining us today beloved beings of light have a most beautiful blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth keep walking gently or sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever the eagle and the condor love you all namaste